Once again, I did the same thing. What's up, everybody? Welcome to System Cutters Live. I'm David Wilson, and we're back again with another live stream where we get together as a community and talk about whatever topic I've come up with for the week, and this week is no exception. Uh, let me see who is here in the chat. <clears throat> On the YouTube side, I see uh, Osloy, Boo, Ed, and Eric. Nice to see you all. Uh, let's see. On the IRC side, I see Gun, Glenn, uh, Jabo. Fade, Thanos, uh, Leonix, uh, Redacted, Dave. Gun says the foul odor of decaying parentheses. Yes, I forgot the G Geeks GC in my system. So uh, I just did that right before the stream because I ran out of space while I was trying to install something else. Fun stuff, right? Uh, Alternate Ved, hello and hello to Jeff. Alternate Ved says good luck today. Yes, I need luck every time because every time I try to do live coding, something goes wrong. Maybe today I won't, though. I don't know. Hello to uh, to Michael, Christopher, uh, Zoli, Yash. Nice to see you all. All right. I think everything is running well and ready to go. So let's get to it. So uh, let's get into the news. So Libra Planet 2024 is next weekend, May 4th and 5th. That's Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'll be giving a keynote presentation first thing on Saturday. Uh, that will be 14, 15 US UTC uh, or like basically 10, 15 in the morning, uh, Boston time. I'll be there in person. Uh, so if you're in the Boston area and you, um, I don't know if you can still register for the in-person event, but if you're there, let me know. I would like to know if there are people in the area. I would like to meet up with some folks. I know I'll be seeing Dave there, which is nice. Um, but uh, yes, I'll be giving a keynote there. Uh, some of what we do today will be related to that, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, also, if you want to attend Libra Planet online, registration is free from what I understand. And uh, you should sign up for that and you'll be able to see all the talks as they go. I think they're going to be streaming those live. So uh, that should be pretty cool. Tim says, maybe today it won't. What optimism? I'm very optimistic. I just like playing it up for fun. Hello to Minas Mazar. Boo says, it's part of the fun in live coding, troubleshooting together. Yes, I'm glad that's fun for people. For me, it's just like I'm um, wasting people's time uh, stumbling through uh, weird issues. But that's, uh, I don't know, it's part of the fun, right? We're going to start doing a lot more of that after I get back from the conference. So get ready for a lot of stumbling. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Jeff says, live coding equals stunt programming for a crowd. Yes, I do like st some good uh, stunt programming. Hello to uh, Mjolnir. So uh, in relation to the fact that I'll be at Libra Planet um, next weekend, there will not be a stream next Friday because I will be, will I be in a plane? Yeah, I'll be in a plane probably uh, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, the Atlantic Ocean uh, <laughs> at that time. So uh, I, there will be no stream next Friday, unfortunately, but there will be plenty more streams coming soon. So I'll make up for that. Um, also, the Free Software Foundation uh, this week posted an interview with me, which is a little bit weird, um, about the role that free community plays in free software. If you want to check that out, uh, it's on their website. Um, kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, also, I noticed that I've basically taken over the whole front page of <laughs> the FSF.org. My, my face is there twice. My name is all over the top. So the, the takeover of the SFF, FSF begins today apparently. So good for me, right? I don't know. But that's a kind of a fun thing, I guess, to, to be interviewed and have that up on their website. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, also, I want to remind people to sign up for the Spring Lisp Game Jam. 
which starts on uh, May 17th. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's it would be nice for more people to sign up, especially if you've never done a game jam before or if you want to hack on some fun Lisp projects. Um, go join up over at the uh, itch.io page for that. The link is in the show notes. Um, uh, 60, 62 people have joined. Uh, at one of these days, I'm going to try to help promote the jam to, until we get to 100 people joining. Yes, Dave says in the chat, can we hit 100? Yes, please. We, we want to get 100 people participating in the Spring Lisp Game Jam. It starts on May 17th. Uh, you got time to sign up. You don't have to have a game in mind. Uh, you don't really have to have chosen any specific specific Lisp to use yet. If you want to get on the Game Jam, um, maybe you can go to the System Cutters Forum and get some suggestions on what tools you use. Um, or just, you know, talk to us on um, the Fediverse, Mastodon, etc. And uh, we can point you in the right direction. I think also there's a community here. So if you if you want to join and you're not sure whether you'll actually be able to do it or not, just join anyway and come in here uh, to the forum for the the game jam and leave a post there. You can ask questions about um, what tools you should use or what game idea to try. I don't know. Like just just join and have fun. It could be a simple game. It could be a game where you just take input from the user at a text prompt and then just you know, make funny jokes or something. It could be anything. So I just encourage you to do it because it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed Game Jams and I will be streaming my work on the Game Jam using Guile Hoot um, probably most of the days of the of the jam. So why am I not hearing anything? Okay, this is because I'm talking too much. Anyway, uh, next thing, I just re remind people again to join the System Crafters Crafter Ring. I don't want to keep harping on this, so this may be the last time I mention it for a while, but uh, it is a fun little thing where if you want to have your website, your personal website, uh, plugged into the rest of the System Crafters community so that people can find you more easily, uh, go check out this repo on uh, Codeberg that Shome set up and uh, follow the instructions to send a pull request. Basically what it does is uh, it compiles a list of all the people who have uh, added their site to the Crafter Ring, and whenever you go to anybody's website, let's go to Tyler's site here, um, at the bottom of the page, you, you basically have to go embed something into the uh, layout of your page, but uh, it puts this little link here where you can click forward to go to the next person in the um, in the list. And uh, now we've landed on Purple G's nice looking website. That's pretty cool looking. I like the purple on that. I guess it's on brand, right? Um, and then you can keep clicking through to find uh, more people in the community. So it's a good way for people to find your site. There's Thanos site. Uh, I highly recommend folks to uh, sign up for that if you want to, especially if you've never done a pull request before on an open source repository. This would be a good starting point. So uh, take a look at that. Um, also, uh, let's see, Dave says in the chat, uh, Hoot game template coming next week. So if you want to try to use Guile Hoot for your entry for the the Lisp game jam, uh, Dave is going to be pr producing a starting template that I think uses HTML5 Canvas. I also suggested um, that I might tr try to create one that uses a library like uh, pixie.js. Get out of here. Um, or Pixie.js or Phaser or something. Oof, that's uh, giving me vertigo. Wow, okay, I gotta close that. Anyway, point being, uh, maybe we can wire some stuff up for um, a quote unquote full game library that you can use for the um, for the jam in case you have familiar with things like that, familiarity with things like that. Uh, Michael says in the chat, I recently watched a recorded live YouTube video on the Nix browser. I was both very informative and entertaining. Entertaining, entertaining. Jeez, we're starting already where I can't even speak. So we're gonna have a great time, I can tell. And it was done by System Crafter. So live broadcasting is good. Yes, uh, it, it, it definitely is fun. Hopefully it's useful. I need to start editing down the stream recordings so that uh, you know more people can see them because nobody wants to watch a two hour video of me just yammering on. Uh, okay, I think that's it, right? That's enough for the news. Anything else in the chat? Redacted says, stumbling through weird issues is like my entire hobby. I guess that's what we're doing, right? Like we we have a goal in mind. We uh, set out to accomplish it and we see what kinds of weird things we run into along the way. And eventually we come up with a solution to the problem or to the, uh, the goal that we are trying to accomplish. That's uh, probably the most vague way I could put that. So what, what goal do I have today that we're going to stumble through? 
uh, what we're going to do is uh, to help me procrastinate when I should be writing my Libra Planet talk. Um, what I did was start creating my own presentation slide generator using Guile Scheme. Now, let's talk about why someone would want to do something like that and why I'm not using other options that uh, probably would be more appropriate for this. Uh, so, the thing about Libra Planet is that they don't let you use your own computer for presentations, which is probably a good thing. It's more, more consistent. You have, you know, a, a lockdown machine that always is going to be connected to the, the presentation or projector or whatever uh, can be hooked into the live uh, broadcast, etc. That's all good. That makes sense. So uh, I can't use Emacs like I normally do for presentations for that reason. So I need to find another way to have slides for my presentation or my talk that's going to be uh, next weekend. So uh, the options are to use LibreOffice Present or whatever it's called to make a normal kind of presentation, which I really don't want to do, um, or produce a, a PDF that will be used as the slides for my presentation. Uh, Redacted says they won't let you use Emacs literally in 1984. It's not that they don't let me use Emacs, it's that they don't let me use my own computer. So uh, I don't really think that would work too well. So um, obviously I'm going to choose the approach where I generate a PDF that has a slides so that I can use that at the presentation. Now. What do I use to make that PDF of slides? Well, the first thing that came to mind, obviously, is using org mode and using the Beamer export. If you don't know about that, uh, with org mode, org Beamer export, uh, there is a an export backend in org mode where you can export a um, a, a LaTeX or a LaTeX. Can't remember the right way to pronounce that. Um, file that can be used to generate a PDF and this Beamer document style or document type is made for presentations and you see it being used sometimes by people usually in like academic presentations etc or maybe even at like Emacs focused events because it's pretty uh, obvious to use this to generate your presentation slides if you're going to be uh, presenting about Emacs. Um, I looked into this I got it working it's not really that hard to get working you just need to install the right packages for it however um LaTeX or LaTeX, it's not so easy to customize. Like, I don't like the way that the default Beamer template looks, and there are different themes for Beamer, and I don't like any of them. I tend to prefer a more minimalistic uh, 